I'm here in Tracy, California once again, visiting some friends, and of course I had to stop by Hella Pie. Now, I know a, a while back in a video I kind of poked a little bit of fun at the name because of the local colloquialism. Wow, why can't I say that word? The local colloquialism of Hella, meaning hecka. Hecka good, hella good. Hecka bad, hella bad. Heck a rad. Okay, now that's dating me a little bit. But as I've said before in past videos, I grew up here in Tracy during my high school years, the formative years of my life. And I have some good friends out here. So I like to pop in once in a while. Now that COVID got me kind of like reconnecting with my past and whatnot. But this is a new addition. Hella pie. It's hella good. I'm telling you what. Now, I popped in here with a friend, uh, you know, I don't know month or so ago when I was in town they said uh you gotta try it I, I was kind of poking fun at the name hella and they said you gotta try it so I went in there and I ordered the margarita now little did I know the margarita was vegetarian the girl ringing me up let me know that of course uh as any good employee would <laughs> and I decided to get it anyways because I said if they can make a good vegetarian they can make a good any kind of pizza and they sold me that vegetarian pizza and they won me over today i'm trying actually a meat one and i just walked in there i saw one with basil on it and i said i want the one with basil i don't know what it is but i want it and when i ordered it the girl said oh would you like the hot honey and i said huh what the hot honey i i don't know what you're saying I'm like cup in my ear, huh? Huh? What? Well, I am a little bit hard of hearing due to my real job working in the music business for the last 16 odd years. 
a little bit hard of hearing. People talking through masks nowadays, it gets a little bit tricky sometimes. And when you're not expecting a word combination like hot honey and pizza, I said, well, sure, if that's what you do, give it to me. I didn't mean that in any rude kind of way. But anyway, so I try this pizza. It looks like it might have some kind of ham on it. I don't know. But it's got hot honey drizzled on it with basil. And it is quite delicious. I never had hot honey before. And I was tasting it going, wow, sweet at first, a little bit hot in the back end. Ooh, -hoo. hey, there's another one. A little bit hot in the back end. That's how we like it out here in Central California. SenCal. People out here think this is NorCal for some reason. They like to boast on their trucks, big, loud, stupid trucks. Driver. NorCal. Hey, guess what? Hate to break it to you. NorCal probably starts around Sacramento, California. Tracy, still Central California. Now I have to say and admit to y'all that I really didn't intend to make a video today. Every once in a while, I like to get a bit ahead on my videos and I'm at that point where I'm comfortably ahead with the videos so that if I wanted to, I could take a day off. And I had a bit of a long drive from Landers, California, all the way up here to Tracy, California. And I thought today I was just gonna take a little bit of rest, visit some friends, I visited Darren earlier, checked out some things he's doing with his van. And you know what? I got talking to Darren. If you don't know who I'm talking about, check it out. I did a van build video on him just a little while ago. He's got a moto van, motocross van. And he was saying that tomorrow, which would be Friday, he is going up to Carnegie. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, he's going up to Carnegie state vehicular recreation area which is just a couple about 10 minutes here south west of tracy i did a video on that one too and <laughs> well he said it's the last day of green tag i believe riding and he just picked up a brand new cycle well not brand new but brand new to him pretty new i believe it's a 2018 don't know the model I believe it's a husqvarna if that's how you pronounce it, that I don't know either. Not much of the motocross enthusiast. But having said all that, he said in the morning he's going out there and to go riding with his buddies. And I said, well, that's kind of cool because I was planning in the morning to head up to Del Val Lake campground area just to check it out. That's about 18 miles west southwest of tracy between tracy uh and i guess livermore pleasanton area if you're familiar with the area you know where that is if you're not look it up on a map like i did now what am i going on about i have no idea but while i'm just down the street here at Hellapai, and i you know, I talked to the owner for quite a while. He's a very nice guy. He and his wife own the place. So he used to do construction. And at some point, you know, the passion for the pie took over. And he decided to open up this small shop here in town. And it's really starting to take off. His wife, I believe, has uh, left her former job and is now working full-time there as well. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. But that's what I got out of it. Sometimes I have selective hearing and I hear what I want to for a better story. <laughs> I am on a euphoric high from Hella Pie. <laughs> That's your new line. Get a euphoric high at Hella Pie. Anyways, now I'm sitting here in front of the old firehouse in Old Town, downtown Tracy. Why am I here? Oh, I've been talking about Carnegie and one thing that's cool about Carnegie was that there was this old town called Tesla. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate your service. <laughs> what? Anyways, Carnegie Vehicular Recreation Area and the town of Tesla was right next to it. Blah, blah, blah. Watch the video. They made bricks stamped with Carnegie name. 
And a friend of mine told me, hey, guess what? I watched your video and you know where else those Carnegie bricks are? Aside from some Carnegie museums and Hotel Oakland, right here in Tracy at the good old original Tracy Fire Department. So I'm led to believe down this way is where they exist. Now, this was built a while back and people could donate to build the statue, little memorial to the firemen, which we love, owe a lot to, especially more so as the years go by. But what's cool about this is down here on the ground, they have bricks. And the bricks have all the names of the people who donated money to this restoration project here of the firehouse and building this thing here. Thank you again. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Not trying to make a video here or anything. And as you can see here on the ground, Carnegie Brick. Now you might be asking yourself, Greg, who gives a damn about some stupid bricks? Well, ha, I do, for one, and I know some other people that do too. My friend Darren, as a matter of fact, has two of the Carnegie bricks in his backyard, because he's been out here for a couple of eons, as far as I know. Well, you'll never guess what happened today. I was hanging out at Darren's and just across the street, good friend of mine from high school, uh, whose father happens to watch my videos. Well, how crazy is that, right? What a small world. Anyways, he was fascinated by my Carnegie video apparently. And then I had such an interest and passion for the subject of the local history. Well, guess what I got now? That's right. <laughs> I got my very own Carnegie brick. <laughs> How cool is that? Thank you very much, Mr. Fell. I appreciate it more than I could ever express in such digital terms. Apparently he watched my video and was like, oh, I got one of those bricks in the garage somewhere. I was digging around and found it and said, hey, Greg, if you want it, it's yours because apparently he appreciates my passion for history. And you know what? <laughs> this is now a centerpiece of my van, which as Darren puts it, has a very homely feel. And several people have mentioned that to me when looking in my van, popping their heads into it like, wow, this looks really homely, very comfortable. Not homely like, oh, what's she doing? But homely like, homey, homey. Haha, <laughs> that's the word, not homely, homey. Very homey feel here in my van with all my crazy artwork, decorations. I started collecting these kind of postcards from cities I'm going to, towns I visited. Got myself a little cactus while I was out in the desert. And you never know what else is gonna pop its way onto my crazy doors here, my map area. And well, we're not gonna talk about those, are we?